Samsung's most premium mid-range smartphone of 2024, the Galaxy A55, has appeared on the Geekbench benchmark website running Android 15. Android 15 will be the first of four major Android OS upgrades for the Galaxy A55. An official One UI 7.0 release is set for 2025. Samsung has been testing the next major OS upgrade for both mid-range and flagship devices for a long time. The Galaxy A53 and Galaxy A54 were seen on Geekbench running Android 15 a few months back, and the latest model in the lineup has now joined the party. The Galaxy A55 achieves a single-core score of 1161 and a multi-core score of 3369. There's more than one Galaxy A55 benchmark with Android 15 on Geekbench as of November 16, suggesting that development on the update may have picked up pace recently. Not that it means much, because as mentioned earlier, One UI 7.0 isn't getting an official release before 2025. Galaxy A55 owners in select countries may get the chance to test Android 15 through the One UI 7.0 beta program later this year, though that's just speculation. Samsung will focus on flagship devices before mid-range ones. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. The anticipation builds as Samsung prepares to roll out its first public beta update of One UI 7.0 powered by Android 15 for the Galaxy S24 lineup. Users' wait may soon end. The first beta firmware for the Galaxy S24 Ultra was initially spotted in India and Europe and now has also been identified via to run VATS on Samsung servers across all eligible markets except for one. The list of confirmed markets includes the US, UK, Germany, Poland, India, and Korea. While there's no sign of availability in China yet, it's reasonable to expect that it won't be long before it joins the list. Since the debut of One UI 1.0, Samsung has consistently limited its beta programs to these seven countries, allowing users to test One UI updates before the global rollout. It's unlikely the company will deviate from this pattern for the Android 15-based One UI 7.0 beta. Historically, Samsung launches beta programs in phases, starting with Germany, Korea, and the US, followed by other markets in the second phase a few weeks later. However, this year there's hope that Samsung might break tradition and release the beta simultaneously across all eligible markets to compensate for the delayed rollout of One UI 7.0. Once the second phase begins, Samsung is expected to add more devices to the beta program. Most flagship Galaxy phones launched in 2023 and 2024 are likely to be included. If you own one of these devices, you'll need to register through the Samsung Members app, which is already set up for the beta program. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.